Good. Well, finally it's done. After just one and a half years, I found the purpose for the remaining Nixie tube clock. Can you spot it? Let's take a closer look. You see, I decided to mount it under the shelf so I can have a look at it when I'm working, which basically looks like this. So actually this bit differs a bit from the other build I did before. See in the description. And how did I mount this is actually quite quite interesting because I just built a, a sliding mechanism which looks like just a second. So this is a two-parter. You can see the holes for mounting it on top and the holes for mounting it on the bottom. And they just slide. So basically you have one piece that's shaped like this and one piece that's shaped like that. Then you can fit them together and slide them. Easy print. It's not that easy to see since it's black, but it's working quite well. And that's what I put up in there. As you can see, the buttons are still accessible and you can use them. I just used the normal power supply that was included because in this case there was no need to run it on five volts like USB power or something like this because I have enough plugs here. This is the sliding mechanism. So you can slide it out and in if you like. And let's have a look at it in detail. Oppa. So in here you can see the, the receptacle of the slider. As you can see, this is the 3D printed surface. I didn't like to cut these oval shaped roundy bits to fit them perfectly. And it almost fits them. That's good enough for me. And we have the two dots here. On the top you see already the slider that will hold the whole thing in place. And the bottom is just black MDF with the occasional screw to hold it together. So, and the hot glue of course. If we turn it upside down, you see two bars that reinforce the box. So it's not wobbly or something like this. And also, of course, to connect to the slider and to keep it in place. At the back, it's just the breadboard. You know it from the, from the other one, from the standing up tubes. These are the connectors for each of the tubes. And the yellow ones are the connectors for the dots up there. Some of these ribbon cables are just connected up there. And as you see, I did a really great job with fixing them in place with a drop of blue glittering hot glue because that's what the gun was loaded with. But that's it. So the challenge here was in building the box and applying the sliding mechanism. I didn't move the buttons because they are accessible the way I mounted it. And also since I didn't need the five volts power supply, but I was able to use the factory supply, I didn't need to change anything there. And that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching.